I genuinely just had an emotional reaction to an AI chat interaction. Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Taya and this is Campfire, a brand new game. I actually reached out to this developer before through their Discord to get access to the early alpha, just as they reached out to me to say, hey, can you please play this game? I've been waiting to play this game for like a month. Ever since I saw Kay Daisy play this game, I've been excited. I will leave a link down below to their website where you can try to get early access if you're interested in playing this game. The public early access is coming in March 2024. Happy birthday to me. The number one feature of this game is that it is AI generated text. It's customized based on how you interact with them, level up friendship wise based on your interactions. There are little Easter eggs sprinkled throughout their actual character plot line. They all have different kind of relationships with each other. But I am playing on PC on Google Chrome today. Let's check out, see what this game is all about. I'm very excited. Let's see. This guy's pretty funny. Ooh, I don't know which one to do because I know I can customize it more. We'll start with this body. What about this guy? That's fun. And what do we got for hats? Backwards hat. I kind of like this weird tall bow thing we got going on here. That's kind of funny. What cat ears? <gasps> okay, no, wait. Actually, I want cat ears. I do. And can I try to change the color of this? I guess not. Oh, here's the different, okay, outfits. <gasps> That's cute with the cat ears. That's cute. Oh my gosh, so many options. Now I gotta think. I do like this shape of body. I don't know why. Sometimes, sometimes it some, it's talking to me. This guy's kind of like classic retro computer looking thing. I kind of like that. I kind of like it. Now I feel like I need to adjust my hat. Do I want to be a cowboy? A cowgirl? A little bonjour beret? A little backwards cap? Oh, that's kind of fun. That's giving like bro vibes, but I kind of love that. Oh, I kind of love, you know what? We're going to give bro vibes. That's totally fine. I am bro now. Okay, of course, we're just going to go with Taya, my name, my age. Oh, <laughs> well. <laughs> oh my goodness, Mayor Thompson with his pipe and his like 70s glasses that, oh, oh my gosh. Bad influence. Welcome to Camp Island, friend. A great man once said, Camp Island is a canvas for new beginnings. What a great quote. It's absolutely wonderful. You got me. I'm the great man who came up with it. <laughs> that sounds like something I would say. <laughs> Before you get settled into your new house, you will need your permanent resident card. You will need to finish six newcomer quests to get your card. Enough talk. Let's start by making sure you can find your way around. Use the wasad or arrows to get to the chest. Follow the glowing sparkling pink trail. It will always take you where you need to go. Wasad. E. Look at me. I'm so happy. <laughs> What's up? What's up? 100 coins. No big deal. Quests. So palm tree life. Collect two coconuts. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, emote. H. <gasps> I'm new. Try shaking it with E. <laughs> Juicy and delicious. Quest completed. Collect. Okay, chat with a villager just like any other friend. Level up your friendship and get rewards for it. Complete quests for the villager and get more rewards. Ha! What kind of resident will you be? A damn good one. A damn good resident, huh? I like your spirit. Just remember the key to being a good resident is to make ev friends with everyone and help whenever you can. What's on my intake form here? Ah, yes. What is one of your favorite childhood memories? Oh God. Eating pickles in my grandparents' hammock with my sister Jess. Ah, the taste of pickles and the comfort of a hammock. Truly a recipe for a delightful childhood memory. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get a Breton cap reward. If you could talk to anyone in the world, who would it be? Oh gosh. 
in the world currently, who would I talk to? Why is this the most difficult? What are you trying to do? Grill me on a Tuesday morning, Maya Thompson? Get a grip. Beyonce. Ah, Beyonce, the queen herself. I can see why you'd want to have a chat with her. She's got that star power. By the way, could you do me a favor? I just leveled up. Yeah. What the frick is he dancing? Would you do me a favor? Sure. I need you to help the other islanders finish their newcomer quests. Okie dokie, I got new quests. And I got a Breton cap. <laughs> new quest available. Meet Chapo. Hey, you. Yeah, you over there. You look strong, but do you have what it takes to swing a pickaxe? I don't know, Chapo. Oh, you do, do you? Well, there's no way you're as strong as Chapo. Come up here and show me what you got. All right, Chapo, you want to freaking go? You want to go, Chapo? Well, don't just stand there. Okay, God, man, just chill out. Hey, friendo, sorry for being short with you over there. Say, I got an extra tool for you if you'd like. No sweat, pal. I'll take that tool off your hands or paws. Not sure what the proper terms are here. Well, ain't you a peach? Here's my ax for you, but first solve me this riddle. Okay, nothing about the paws, but we're on track. I'm a shiny metal so rare and pure in jewelry and more, I'm sure. What am I? I think I've already seen this, gold. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. You got it right, partner. Here's your trusty ax. Ready for some serious tree chopping action. A sofa, I wanna get that sofa. Nice. Close this chat window and give that axe a swing in your backpack. Happy chopping. Claim this. Let's go. And also, can I... Okay. Claim this. Claim this. Oh, I pressed space bar. Wow, bronze. Not bad, my friend. Let's see what else we can find. Space bar. By the way, I have a very important job I could use some help with. Come up and talk to me whenever you have some spare time. Thanks, friend. You rock. Nice pun. See what I did there? I did. Immediately, Chapo. When do I get my sofa? I want my sofa. Hello again, friendo. Do you think you could help me with something else? Totally. What you got? Well, you see, there's a pesky fallen tree blocking the path to the lighthouse. I reckon I had a special tool to clear it, but I can't remember where I left it in the old mine. Can you find the entrance for me? Sure thing, chicken wing. Well, I'll be a raccoon in a hen house. The mine entrance should be somewhere close to where you're standing. Keep an eye out for any rocks blocking the way. Happy hunting and don't forget to watch your step. Wait a minute, what's gonna happen? Did you place traps? Are there booby traps? I mean, I'm gonna guess it's this one right here. I'll freaking working away. Looks like you've done it, friendo. I f you found the entrance to the mine. I'm just going to go in real quick and grab my tools. Of course, it's been abandoned so long that I'm not sure it's safe for you to go in yet with me. Got it. Got a frick sickin' frick sick. What? Got a freaking sick sofa. Let's go. The way that your character stares up at you. Just a loving glance, hoping for you to interact with this world. It's a beautiful time. Now that I have access to my mine again, I was able to clear that log for you. The lighthouse lookout is free to explore. I'd much rather say stay at ground level, though. Why is that? Well, you see, friendo, I spent my whole life digging deep into the earth, so I reckon I'm more comfortable with solid ground beneath my paws. That's fair. Ain't it just, partner? We all got our preferences in life. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? Nah, it's all good, chaps. Valentina's Lament. Valentina Fancy Tina. Just moved to the island and could really use a mood boost. Why don't you mind paying her a visit? She's up by the lighthouse. Okay, let's go to this lighthouse. Let's get this lighthouse. Let's get this girl. She needs a friend. She's sad. Let's go cheer up Miss Valentina. And also, I don't want to be holding this ax anymore. There we go. I'm collecting coins along the way. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling funky fresh. I'm feeling bilked up. Hi, dear. Have we met before? No, we have not. And you're such a small little cowgirl. And I love that. Ocean is beautiful today. Aw, oh, never mind. Hey, Valentina. I heard you just 
Moved here. So did I. How delightful. Welcome to our camp island, my dear. We shall have quite the adventure together. Yeah. What brings you to Camp Island? To escape the chaos of fame and find peace and serenity in nature. And of course, to share my music with the world. Oh, cool. What kind of music do you like to create? That's so nice. I'm a versatile artist, my dear. I create both pop and jazz music, blending my classical training with modern melodies. It's a true expression of my soul. Oh my God, look at her dance, look at her dance, look at her go. That sounds lovely. I'd love to hear it sometime. Thank you, my dear. I'd be honored to share my music with you. Perhaps we can organize a little concert on this beautiful island. Yes, that would be a real community booster too, which is great. And people would get to know your music more. Leveling up with Valentina. Indeed, my dear, we a wonderful opportunity for the Islanders to discover, discover the beauty of my music. Yes, we're best friends now. Hey, guess what? I'm best friends with a little cow on this island. Let's make this concert a night to remember. Oh, yay. The sound of the ocean waves is soothing and delightful. Campfire. Sit by the fire with... Oh, I can meet more people. Let's... I met Chapo. I met Valentina and the mayor. So I have to meet these three. Let's sit by the fire with Fred. What's Fred's deal? It's been a fishless day, I'm afraid. There, the fire's always a nice place to relax after a long day. Hey, Fred. Nice to meet you. Well, well, well. Is it, if it isn't a fresh face. Nice to meet you too, laddie. What brings you to Camp Island? Laddie, excuse me. Well, I just thought a slower paced life would be just what I needed after a stressful job nearly burned me out, man. Ah, I see. Camp Island is the perfect place to escape the hustle and bustle of the city. I hope you find peace and tranquility here, lady. Laddie? Oh, I do have stuff for Valentina. Collect wood for Valentina and collect ore for Valent. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Gossip. Fred's opinion on Mayor Thompson's leadership. Oh my gosh. And rumors about other island residents. Rumors. Let's do the rumors. Rumors, eh? I don't pay attention to that too much to that sort of thing, lad. But I have heard that Steve, the hot dog chef, has been seen flirting with Angelina Arcadia. Ooh, a love story. A love story, you say, well, if Steve can finally settle down, that'd be a miracle. <laughs> well, great catching up, Fredo. Talk to you soon. Farewell, laddie. Enjoy your time on the island and may the scene be kind to you. Catch you later. So I need to collect wood. If I get my axe out, backpack style. Oh, I also have a metal detector. Neat. Oh. <laughs> You've unlocked new things to do. You can now claim a new reward every day. <gasps> Ooh, that's a cute hat though. Needle in the hay hat. Now with that musky, musty barn smell. Oh, I love a musty barn smell. Okay. Gotcha. Nice. Heart eyes. I'm just getting so many items. Okay, I've got enough wood. Now I need to collect some more ore. Tell Valentina you're ready to build the stage. Oh my gosh, was that really literally what we were supposed to do? Was to make like a concert? That's really cute. How did I just, I mean, like I feel like I invented that and now I'm doing a quest that I invented. Clever. Wonderful, darling. You've collected everything we need for our brilliant stage. Oh yes, before we continue, I had a burning curiosity to know what your favorite kind of music is, dear. Can you tell me? Of course, my favorite favorite kind of music is pop, but with a good beat. I also do love some jazz or bossa nova to relax to. Pop 
top of the good beat is quite delightful, my dear. As for jazz and bossa nova, they have a way of soothing the soul and transporting you to another world. Oh. Also, I love your necklace. Can't go wrong with compliments. Let's level it up. Oh, thank you, my dear. It's a special piece that holds sentimental value for me. I'm glad you appreciate it. You do. What do we need to do to make the stage? Have fun and let your creativity shine. You know it, bestie. My dear, I'm flattered. I'm honored. <laughs> I'm here for you like a true Bessie, ready to support and guide you. Let's make magic together. At long last, the stage shall be born. Oh my stars, it's more beautiful than I ever imagined. Thank you, darling. I can't wait to grace this marvelous platform with my gift. But alas, I have no audience. Oh, please invite Fred, Mayor Thompson, and Angelina to come watch me. You got it. Where is everybody? I mean, I'm seeing a lot of like other player characters. Ooh, there's someone. Hello. Oh, that's Mayor Thompson. Okay, so we do need to invite Mayor Thompson. Angelina is putting on a concert. Would you like to come? Oh, a concert, you say? Sounds like a delightful time. Tell me more about this concert, my friend. Well, I'm going to try this talk to text feature because I use it all the time in my real life and I think it would help with my fingies. Are my fingies tired? My fingies are tired. <laughs> well, Valentina is a very talented musician and creative artist and she's world famous already. So the opportunity for her to play at our island is amazing. And you should definitely come. Oh, Valentina is playing? Well, count me in. I wouldn't miss the chance to miss see a world famous musician right here on our island. Okay. Let's invite other folks. Okay, here they are. Here's some more people I have not talked to. Hello, I'm gonna have to talk to him a little bit. Oh great, another one of you. Why don't you just leave me alone? Hey, Angelina, I'm sorry to bother you. I am new here, so I understand you're meeting a lot of people, but it's nice to meet you. Well, aren't you just a ray of sunshine? Nice to meet you too, I guess. Oh my gosh, I got a thumbs down for Angelina. Angelina is a spicy meatball, excuse me. Have you met Valen Valentina? She's a world famous musician here on the island. Oh, Valentina, the center of attention as always. Oh no, yes, I've met her, we go way back. I have to convince this person to come to her show. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a true challenge. Oh my goodness, my goodness. I'm sorry if I've struck an old wound. Just a little heartbreak and betrayal, no big deal. So what else you wanna gossip about? So at this point, I'm trying to soften up Angelina, talk to her a little bit about her business, get a sense of what her passions are so that I can use them against her to convince her to come to her arch nemesis's concert. Nemesis's? Nemesis concert. I keep saying, ooh, ooh. Okay, I feel like she's liking me, but I feel like I'm not at the point where I can just be like, hey, anyways, come to your arch rivals show. How can we get her to turn into somebody who's gonna come to Valentina's show? I need to be able to do this. Topics, heartbreak. Oh. Being fired by Valentina, coping with heartbreak, moving on and finding new friends, business. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Backstory. Lessons learned from being Valentina's dis assistant. Oh. I learned that rejection would be a powerful motivator. Plus it made me realize that I need to pursue my own dreams and not just follow in Valentina's footsteps. Now I'm determined to make a name for myself on the island and beyond. I'm also thinking of starting a blog to share my experiences and insights with other. I would just love to follow along with your journey. I love that you've been able to use the things you've learned that way. Thank you for your support. I'll definitely keep you updated on my journey. And what kind of plans do you have for expanding the shop? I just need to get her to like a level two. We gotta bring this around. We gotta freaking compliment sandwich this. Anything that you enjoyed about 
your time working for Valentina. I enjoyed the opportunity to be a part of Valentina's journey and witness her incredible talent firsthand. It, but it was a bittersweet experience, but it taught me a lot. I've had a similar experience recently being fired and bittersweet is exactly how I describe it as well. I'm sorry to hear that. It can be tough, but remember that sometimes the end of one chapter is just the beginning of another. Stay strong, Taya. Oh my gosh. That means so much, Angelina. Did I, I genuinely just had an emotional reaction to an AI chat interaction. Angelina encouraging me just now. Angelina. I'm glad my words can bring you some comfort. Remember, you're not alone in this. Keep pushing forward, Taya. You too. And I will say, uh, no, how do I, how do I land this? Just FYI, Valentina is putting on that show if you're interested, but no sweat if you're not. Totally get it. Valentina's show, huh? Well, I suppose I could consider going if you give me a really good reason to attend. <gasps> oh. Well, it could be a great place to meet some new customers for the shop. And attending could also mean some influencer support. Hmm, you make a good point. All right, I'll go to Valentina's show, but only because it could benefit my business. Oh my gosh. Uh, totally fair, I think. It will be a great place to network. And I'll be there too. I've got your back. Thank you, Taya. I appreciate your support. I'll see you at Valentina's show. Let's go. That, that was a journey and that was fun. That was really fun. Why was that? That was way more fun than I anticipated. So now that I've convinced Angelina that she needs to come to Valentina's show, all is water under the bridge. I moved on to convincing Fred. I also ran into Steve. I continued playing for about another hour actually after this. So if you are curious to see more from this game, to see the rest of my gameplay where I sort out some villager interpersonal relationships, which was super fun, then let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching today, everybody. That is gonna do it for Campfire for now, but I'm sure that there will be much more to come on this game and I will keep you posted on whatever else happens with the developer. <laughs> this was so fun. Again, the dialogue, stunning. I love the non-linear kind of plot development. Like you can go at it at your own speed. There are like things for you to do, things for you to explore. And I'm sure there'll be much more of that in the future. I am excited and I'm enticed and I had a blast. You should definitely try it for yourself if you can. I will leave all the relevant links down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, give it a big likey like and subscribe if you want to see more from me. I will see you all in the next one. Bye everybody. It's a mostly hate relationship that I have with my pop filter. Let's log in. I found sound like the virgin mobile gal. Welcome member, you are unpopular. Who's this? Physics. Physics? Oh my gosh, physics, clever.